What is up, YouTube? Ladies and gentlemen, I've shrouded myself behind a dark curtain to build suspense. Can I get an ooh ah? There's a dude in the second row with black hair and a blue button up shirt. What's your name, dude? Dude. Name loud, what is it? Jesse. Jesse. All right, Jesse, you're about to get magished. Jesse, <laughs> name any vegetable or fruit. Strawberries. Strawberry? Yep. Shit. Um. <laughs> Hello! What's up, YouTube? How's it going? This side, what's up this side? This side. Give it up for Jesse, everybody. One day that's gonna kill, though. Can you imagine? Dude says banana. That could have been tonight, but Jesse is here. Anyway, um... My name is Justin Willman. I am a magician. This is great to be doing a show in Los Angeles. Los Angeles crowd, we're feeling good? Yeah. Normally, uh, normally I have to travel, and you can imagine being a magician going through airport security. It is complicated, okay? With like banana suits and shit. So I actually have a couple handy tri uh, tricks to speed up the TSA process. I take all my metal objects, like my phone and uh, my, uh, my watch and uh, my, uh, my ring, and instead of having them on me when I go through security and setting off the metal detector, what I do is I put them in a TSA-friendly envelope. <laughs> we pop the watch in there, and the ring in there. Perfect, and the phone, you wanna be careful not to scratch the screen. Now, J Jesse, do you travel much? Yeah. You do? Yeah. Awesome, okay. TSA, they don't have a sense of humor. So when you write not guns, they assume it's guns and they take whatever you just gave them and destroy it. It's cool though, because I always still have my ring and I always still have my watch and I always still have my phone. That's how I travel, people. That's how I travel. That's... What? Wow. Magnets. Magnets. <laughs> Pete Holmes, he's right. Being a magician in 2013 is hard, okay? Like, when I was 14, I used to do shows at kids' birthday parties. It was adorable, okay? And I would close the show by pulling a rabbit out of a hat, okay? People didn't care how the trick worked. They weren't trying to bust me. They were just happy there was a rabbit there. You know what I mean? They wanted to, they wanted to pet it. It's cute, all right? But if I did that now, I pulled a rabbit out of a hat right here on the stage, you guys would be like, Psh, it's up his sleeve, there's a trap door. How was the bunny treated? <laughs> right? And I think that audiences, you guys, have been desensitized partly because of the iPhone. Like, this is a magical device. It's in our pockets at all times. It does miracles. We take it for granted. Like, I can hold this thing up to a speaker. It'll tell me the song. That's magic, right? Ten years ago, I could have closed with that. That would have been awesome. <laughs> I can say, take me to the YouTube show. Using satellites, it'll take me here. Sometimes it'll make a phone call, okay? It's an amazing device. <laughs> so what I'd love to do is this, okay? This is kind of improvised, but I'm going to see if Siri, my lovely assistant, can teach us a magic trick. We're gonna merge the classic art of magic and the new world of technology. Are you with me? Give me a hell yes. Okay, I'm gonna patch in my Bluetooth to the sound system here. All right, here we go. Hello, Siri. Hello, Justin. Can you teach me a magic trick? Did you say, teach me a magic trick? Yeah. Yes, you're amazing. It's amazing. Okay. okay. I will help you create a magic trick using ordinary objects in your vicinity. Okay. What objects do you have nearby? Uh, cloth napkin, banana, bottle of... Perfect. <laughs> we'll use the cloth napkin and the bandana. Cloth napkin and a banana. Banana. Correct. The bandana. Banana. Pick up the bandana. Now, fold the bandana in half. Banana. Trust me, Justin. Fold it in half.
Now, fold it one more time. Take the folded bandana and hide it in your left hand. Remember to keep your hand held in a natural position. This is called palming. Now that you have mastered palming, we are ready to begin. Okay. Open up the folded bandana. Show the audience it's a regular bandana by waving it up and down. If an audience member does not believe it is a real bandana, allow him to wipe his face on it. Jesse? You good? Pick up the cloth napkin and gather the corners together, forming a makeshift bag. Huh? Using your free hand, fold the bandana along the creases you made earlier. And drop it into the makeshift bag. From the outside of the napkin, squeeze the bandana into a small little ball. What the audience didn't see is that you never really put the bandana into the napkin at all. You really kept it hidden in your left hand. Remember palming? No. Now, make a magical gesture. For the big finale, fling open the napkin and receive your well-deserved applause. I'm Justin Wilman. Thank you guys so much. Good night.